Uh, well, good morning. I'm Thomas Olney. And I'm Nicole Olney. And uh, we really appreciate you taking the time to watch this and appreciate your interest in, uh, in our family and our ministry here. Uh, we just want to take a few minutes to uh, tell you a little bit about our family and what's been going on for us recently. So we've been married for about 10 years. We have four very active children. And uh, we'd like to introduce them to you. We've got Ezra and Samuel and Lily and Abigail. So we live in Thompson, Manitoba, which is about an eight hour drive north of Winnipeg. And this is a land of weather extremes where we can get eight feet of snow and minus 50 in the winter and as of this summer plus 36 and like a three and a half hour night in the later part of June. Uh, this part of northern Manitoba is surrounded in boreal forest and muskeg and so it's a very very beautiful place to live and Thompson has all kinds of outdoor activities for you know the quads and the skidoos and the boats and the fishing and all that kind of stuff so uh, yeah, here's just a few pictures of uh, what a year in northern Manitoba can entail. Now one of the main goals of Interact Ministries, which is the organization that we're a uh, part of, is to see reproducing disciples impacting their own communities. We want to see people who are following Christ and who are bringing other people around them to follow Christ as well in their own homes and towns and communities. So most years one of the main ways that we do that is through Midway Bible Camp. Now unfortunately for the second year in a row we have not been able to do anything on site. Uh, Manitoba's restrictions just did not lift enough for us to have overnight camping. Uh, and so again we've been putting together some episodes of some testimonies and some singing and some teaching and uh, we're going to put those up on our YouTube channel. Now obviously this is not what we would like to have happen um, but we do understand that we are very blessed to have this digital means available to us which you know 20 years ago would not have been an option. Now, even without all those kids at camp, there's still a lot of maintenance to do, especially if we want to be able to get into there next year in a reasonable way. And so that's taken up uh, quite a bit of my time already this summer, and uh, we'll do so into the fall just with getting the camp ready for winter again while we're not there. Now, uh, last year we were able to continue our small group studies to a point with video uh, calls and messaging and stuff like that. Um, but it's still very limiting and so we are very hopeful that coming the fall here we'll be able to get back to close to normal and that our team can continue to, to disciple and to teach and train and build up youth in northern Manitoba. Now uh, some of you might remember that uh, Midway has had an interest in building a new camp facility on a different piece of property. Um, the current site that we're on is, is a beautiful spot and we love being there but we don't own the spot and many of the buildings are getting very hard to maintain to a proper level. And so after a few delays and some hiccups in the process, uh, we are on the verge of finalizing a lease on a new property and we're hoping to get an official survey done by the fall. And uh, so then if all goes according to plan, um, we'll be able to, to start uh, working in the new spot. Now currently it is nothing but bush, just trees and bush. Uh, and so probably in the fall I will be spending a bit of time out there uh, making, uh, you know, working on the driveway, uh, starting with the quad trail and expanding that and clearing spots for buildings and stuff um, as we work towards building a new camp facility there. And so uh, the fall remains to, to be seen as to what that uh, will look like and, uh, and how fast the snow comes and whether chainsaws like minus 35. But, we are very excited about the possibilities that a project like this has. Um, I am thankful that Jesus died on the, on the cross and rose again. 
and Lingo for God and the Bible and mercies he gave us to learn. We've got a couple prayer and praise requests. Pray for us as we head into the fall that we will be intentional about pursuing the ministry opportunities God gives us. That he would show us which things and people to pour our love and our time into and that we would be faithful to do as he asks. Pray for us as we raise our kids. Much of my time is spent with them. Pray for wisdom and patience for me and for Thomas that we would lovingly teach them to love and follow Jesus. Praise God for the beauty of his creation. I'm so thankful for the privilege of coming places like here to spend time with him, with my loving creator, and get refilled. Praise for his amazing provision. During this year, with so much uncertainty, we have always had what we needed and abundantly more. God is good. God is faithful. Thank you for faithfully following him in your support for us, both through prayers and finances. It's vital to what God's doing in us and in the North. So we thank you very much. We appreciate all of you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.